Habib, Najla, and Aman from The Hub UAE. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Well, thank you for being here. This is my first time having four people in one spot. So I'm looking forward to doing this. Um, so let's roll right into it. Um, what exactly is The Hub? Well, The Hub is, uh, is a, a uh, you could say it's a global experiment in changing the world through uh, sustainable businesses and innovations. Um, it's a, a movement that takes the best of the co-working space, uh, a business incubator, an innovation agency, um, and a think tank. Uh, all kind of rolled together into one to, uh, to, to really stimulate uh, social entrepreneurship, social innovation, um, and, 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 and get those sorts of, of innovations happening a lot faster and catalyze that change um, in, in various places, many places at a time. Um, and so it's a global network of uh, today, 25, uh, moving you know, uh, on 30, um, growing much faster, uh, especially now that there's a huge push in terms of, in terms of uh, the global scaling of, <coughs> of the hub uh, phenomenon. Um, and, um, and, and so, so we are basically bringing in um, the hub uh, to Dubai. Awesome. And how does it work? Well, I mean, there are a lot of, I guess, basic options you've got. I think at the, the core level, as Habib mentioned, is a co-working mm -hmm. space platform. So you have uh, potential uh, individuals signing up as members and using the space on a time basis. Uh, and uh, you can also kind of use it for meetings that you're having, for example, or for events that we choose to organize that are relevant for the members or for the community in the area. So it's a, it's a buzzing space, it's an ecosystem, you get connected to the rest of the world. So, what compelled you guys to bring that concept over here to the UAE? Because I know, I understand it's an international uh, concept. So, what compelled you guys to like, bring it to the region? Well, I lost my job, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, guess, I guess that uh, we, we came together in uh, uh, around November 2009, at least Aman and I uh, had basically come across the hub. As most hubs get started, usually it's it just word of mouth, usually you meet someone who's setting up a hub or who's in a hub, um, and then the, you have that synergy happening and, and uh, you know, through uh, Aman, through maybe Hub Madrid, and I through, through Hub Mumbai, um, we just kind of got, uh, got really excited about the concept in, in May of last year. Um, had, uh, had just did, did a little bit of an awareness event where um, we attracted, uh, we met with uh, Najla and Nurwan and, and that led to basically uh, us coming together and, and, um, and, and starting the journey, let's say, of, of founding Hub Dubai. Um, but you, you, know, you, you mentioned something in terms of it being a, kind of like a global uh, network and, and I have to differentiate that it is uh, not your franchise, so it's not like a Starbucks where okay. you come in and you bring in, um, you know, you, you go to the central entity and then you say, hey, I want the rights, you know, I want to license the rights from you to open this up. And, uh, it, it doesn't work that way. It really is a, a, a very community-driven uh, network, and so it's more like Visa, where where the you know the entire you know all of the hubs collectively basically are are uh, uh, make decisions and, and basically look after each other. Let's say. Cool. And like, how is each one of you involved in in the hub? Do you want to start? Oh, no, no, ladies, ladies first. No, 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 no. <laughs> So I'm, I'm basically taking part in the design, the space, the environment aspect of the hub, and the financial, so business um, finances of it. And as you know, as we mentioned, like the, the core aspect of the hub is actually the space itself. So the place in the hub is different from any other place because it embodies what people in it are trying to achieve. Right? So it's a completely sustainable space. It is a space that makes the most of co-working, and it's an environment where you feel at home. But it's not, uh, it's not a place where you're too comfortable that you can't get work done. So it's productive but still cozy. Right? So there's a lot of design that actually goes into actually creating the space. Uh, that's going to be one of my main roles, as well as you know, the financial and the environmental aspects. Awesome. It, just, just to add on that, I think that the co-working is really important to mention that it is a co-working. Um, it is a trend, for, for those of us who aren't familiar with co-working, that really emerged um, out of a real gap, let's say, in places to work casually. I mean, when you look at places like 
um, where have freelancers, where have uh, creatives, where have um, innovators, where have thinkers, where have people just doing research and doing projects, where have they been doing their work? Really, it's either been at home and work, and home isn't, of course, a productive environment to get anything done. Of course. Think about all of the distractions. Uh, and plus, you get lazy naturally. I mean, it's, it's your home environment. Um, and yet, uh, and so, so people start working out of, you know, your average coffee shop. And the problem of working out of a coffee shop is it's not a conducive place. Yeah. Um, you, you, you do have an internet connection, you, and, and basically that's it, basically. And so you don't have uh, uh, printing facilities, you don't have um, a community around you who are working in the same areas that you are to bounce ideas off. Um, and likewise, an executive office is, is extremely rigid and is extremely, um, uh, uh, it's just not the right culture for someone who wants to generate ideas and, 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 and innovation. Um, it's not an innovative place when you look at the place that just has, you know, let's say, wood panels and, and, and black leather chairs and, and, and individual offices. Uh, it's, it's not really something that is conducive to changing the world, let's say. Yeah. Um, so, so co-working uh, really emerged as that sort of concept, um, and and, um, and and so so it, it's it's an area that um, of course is core to our business model, which brings me to uh, the areas that I focus on, and I'm I'm focusing on the actual business development um, of the uh, of, of the facility itself, of the of the space that's uh, that's going to emerge in terms of the number of members that we have, and in terms of the uh, the the sorts of, of uh, of, um, of, of uh, partnerships that we do, particularly in terms of technology and in terms of, of, of the operations of the space. Naturally. So basically, <laughs> finally. <laughs> well, actually, let me take a step back. You know, you were asking how we got involved with the hub. So unlike <clears throat> Habib and Aman, who had actually you know met with folks uh, at the hub globally and wanted to bring the concept to Dubai, I, I think for me it was a lot more of a bottoms-up approach. So basically, I had met a lot of social entrepreneurs in the UAE, and as Habib mentioned, you know, all of them were taking a very fragmented approach to work, so either working in their cafes or bedrooms or wherever it may be, and not harnessing uh, the power of the community. So for me, it was almost more needs-driven. So when I heard about the concept, and I hadn't actually seen a hub uh, in operation before, um, it just it immediately clicked in my mind. So. Uh, be, you know, building on that, the area that I'm uh, responsible for as part of the hub is community action. So you asked me about the physical space and I said eventually, yes, we will have a physical space, hopefully by the end of the year or the beginning of next year, but it's really, in my opinion, the physical space is secondary to the community mm -hmm. and, you know, without a community, the physical space is, you know, it's just an empty shell. So what we're trying to do at the moment is build up that community. We're do we've had a few community events so far. We want the hub ultimately to be a space that's built by the community using a very bottoms-up approach, whether it's the actual physical space, the design of the physical space, whether it's the kind of events we want to have. Everything needs to be driven by what the community wants. So that's, that's the area I'm focusing on. Cool. Okay, so I think you're the two most important things. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, one of them is governance, things mm -hmm. like uh, legal and uh, the actual advisory board that we have and the actual fiduciary side of things, mm -hmm. we end up getting to that road. And the other one is building uh, strategic alliances. So key alliances that we need to have, whether it's for events or whether it's for other relationships that will help move the hub to the level that it needs to get to, to become relevant in this area, uh, as opposed to just being another space because people have kind of, they need a space. So it has to have those critical uh, relationships that will make it, say, relevant in the overall stakeholders. So. Cool. And, um, I'm gonna put this question out there. How important is it to have like a space like the hub or a community like the hub, uh, especially in the Middle East, um, with the rise of social entrepreneurs and startups in the region? I think Najla half answered that question already, as she said. I mean, there isn't a space at the moment of that type in the area. Uh, not just in Dubai, I think even in the entire Gulf region, there isn't a space like this. There's an effort to do something of this type in, in Cairo, for example, there is one. Uh, they aren't formally a hub, they're kind of, you can say, a proxy sort of structure, we say hub, but uh, there's really, there's no space like this. And so it's kind of, again, this need, this emerge from the community of there being an area where people can get together, uh, understand what others are doing, leverage that network, etc. So. 
think, I mean, there's, there is certainly in existence the um, executive offices. So that's one uh, product maybe that uh, entrepreneurs use, but it's not, doesn't, again, as Aman said, it doesn't harness the power of the community, right? Um, so I think there will, beyond the hub, I think there will always be a need for these sorts of spaces. You know, you see incubators coming up all the time, but they end up being more real estate place than anything else. Uh, and this is where the hub, I think, will differ. Also, when you, when you talk about the wider uh, Middle East and talking about social entrepreneurship and its relevance, yeah. I mean, it's, it's uh, very, very relevant, especially if you look at the research that's coming out, for example, uh, from the Brookings Institute, I mean, Tariq Yusuf there, a uh, renowned uh, speaker there, mentioned that social entrepreneurship can be deemed effective and even tolerated and even encouraged by uh, Middle East governments as a whole. Uh, because it, when you look at the, the huge unemployment problem that you have, I mean, masses, masses of people are unemployed, coupled with uh, a, a, quite a few environmental and social uh, challenges that, that need to be resolved, and of course, um, the traditional means of, of or solutions that, that were there were not sustainable and weren't really as, as efficient or, 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 or as effective as we would have liked. Um, and so social entrepreneurship is really that solution, which is sustainable, it's, it's, it's business driven, um, it's innovation driven, it, it's, it's really a, a, an approach which is really relevant to what uh, the Middle East needs right now uh, badly if you look at what's happening in the broader regional context. Um, so, uh, and, and the hub is just a, a catalyst of that, let's say. Yeah. So, so what type of audience are you guys hoping to attract? Well, um, I mean, the, the hub focuses specifically on social entrepreneurs. So we're not looking at uh, you know, bringing in tech entrepreneurs or other sorts, but specifically entrepreneurs who are focusing on uh, addressing certain social or environmental challenges uh, through their businesses. So if you look at the UAE now, when you talk about social entrepreneurship, if the definition also differs around the world because if you look at various countries of, around the world that, uh, where they exist, the causes are very different. So, for instance, if you look at India or Pakistan or you know, Africa and so on, they're mostly tackling the base of the pyramid sort of problems, you know, the poverty and so on. Over here, if you look at the UAE, the kinds of entrepreneurs we have, the, the main challenges I think that you'll see them tackling, we've got um, environmental challenges. So we've got FUBU, which uh, Manwan was working on. We've got Gombuk, which again, uh, are two ladies who are working on the environmental issues. Um, then you'll see things like education, so literacy. You'll see um, a company such as Kelimart, for instance, that promotes uh, literacy, the Arabic literacy specifically right. uh, amongst children. You'll see health specific um, enterprises. So the causes, I think, vary uh, according to the region, and I think those are the three sort of main areas that come to mind over here in the UAE. So how can people get involved? Uh, well, there are yeah. various ways. I mean, the simplest way we can uh, direct you to our website. We've actually got a new website up, which is dubai.thehub.net. Um, so there's a sign up uh, part over there. And, you know, of course, we have regular events. We've got our Facebook and Twitter pages as well. Um, and we have our events at the moment every other week. Uh, so the best way to, you know, to get involved is to really come and attend the event and see for yourself what area you'd like to get involved in because it will really depend on what you're interested in, what your background is in. So someone like you might be interested in more of our sort of digital media strategy or social media strategy, whereas others are more interested in um, you know, organizing events and so on. So it, it varies. But the best ways to get in touch are either uh, the website, Facebook or Twitter, social media. Excellent. Um, so thanks guys, like, um, it was really informative and like, I'm looking forward to like, being part of this hub community within the UAE. We look forward to having you there. <laughs>